what's going on YouTube Detroit's review here with another video today I want to talk about Microsoft being pro dev um, and how the Xbox one should have been uh, from day one um, I was in thinking since the X one was revealed it had a lot of negative press with the DRM and the always online and the connect always connected and they just had these problems that people saw of uh, very early on so they had a lot of negative press but no one really took the time to think about how these things uh, helped the gaming industry as a whole I know I didn't but now that I've had some time to realize it I feel like they should have went through with the their original plan um, the while stuff like the always online and um, the always having connect connected Wow, those two things are kind of, I was kind of iffy on and I didn't really like those things. Um, I, I understood the always online, I didn't really understand the connect part. But when you think about it, they were trying to get rid of used games um, and they were trying to be pro dev. They figured that um, the true gamers would take a step back, um, maybe take this small hit so that uh, the game developers could thrive and actually profit from a lot more of their games being sold. Um, while that would have been really good for gaming in it general, uh, we we were fought we fought them every step of the way. We didn't like any of it, and we ended up having them change it to back to a normal type of. Um, the things that we were used to instead of going to the things that we knew were new we messed ourselves up in my opinion um because when we were sitting there fighting and arguing over over this drm and stuff we weren't who were we really helping was really gamestop was the only person that was really getting something out of that when you think about it the used game market for gamestop makes them billions of dollars and there isn't anything that the devs could do um, to stop that but they Microsoft actually came up with a plan to to stop it and when the, that didn't work they even came up with a secondary plan that was um, going to be good in my opinion where they would have the disc and you could take the disc to the GameStop um, and it would just they would be able to scan it and take it off your system and then they would be able to resell that game and every time that game was resold the devs would get that money or the, some of that money and and I think that would have been worked out really well for um, for gaming in general and as many of these studios probably wouldn't be going out of business and they wouldn't be as hurt uh, for cash um, Microsoft had like a couple of bad things with like Dimetric and stuff like that that made uh, the situation way worse they didn't explain it uh, properly um, we could have had the steam sales possibly who knows that you know it's Microsoft so who knows they may maybe they wouldn't have did that part and went that far but we could hope we never know now because we changed it but I feel like the used game thing would have been a really big win for gaming in general but we fought them on that and we probably shouldn't have and I really regret that now um, I wish they would have went through with that. Um, if they would have just loosened the the connect rule and um, maybe the um, always online part, they would have people would have been more accepting. They should have just stuck with the DRM first. Maybe later on try and stick the connect on the to the next system or something. But they had like some really good ideas, in my opinion. But we we just didn't want to hear it. Um, these. These gaming companies need to, they need to figure out a way to get these developers the money they deserve and we shouldn't be trying to save GameStop. They're, we Everyone hates GameStop. When you take in a game and they give you 50 cent for it and then you come back the next day and they're selling that same game for $45, you should be upset. You shouldn't be trying to fight for that person. Um, well, y'all just let me know what y'all think, man. That's all I got to say, man. All right. Peace.